Hello everyone. Today uh, I'm returning to my roots a little bit. I want to show you uh, a video of a game that uh, this was actually the very first uh, th this game was actually the very first game that I made a video of that I put on YouTube. If you go way back to the very first video that I put up on my YouTube account it was of this game. It was actually of the very first level of this game. Uh, and I'm very excited because DOSBox version 0.74 has just come out and it is the first version of DOSBox that emulates the sound in this game correctly. They finally made some tweaks in how the uh, the sound emulation is handled and you can hear now the silly little goofy tune that plays in the game's menu as well as all the sound effects. So I wanted to go ahead and show off this game just, just to kind of celebrate this momentous event, the, the grand and glorious release of DOSBox 0.74. So the game is called Lamers. I'll go ahead and run it. Uh, it is made by a little demo group called Cocktail, based in Norway. They were not particularly major, but uh, you can see this is a 1992 game. A and it's pretty obvious, uh, even before you start playing the game, that the game is uh, kind of a ripoff of Lemmings. Uh, that scroll, scrolling along the bottom of the screen, is obviously, uh, you know, that's that scrolling marquee uh, that is... Uh, you know, a, a hallmark of all the Lemmings games main menus. And of course, if you look at that brown pixelated kind of background, that also emulates the style of the, uh, uh, you know, Lemmings games backgrounds. Um, so that scroll, I think, doesn't go on too very long. I think it, uh, it ends stupid. Uh, actually, no, I, I didn't mean to say that. I was. I was reading what's on the scroll, trying to figure out. I'll let that scroll finish, just because it doesn't go on for too much longer. Sorry, my words got mixed up while well, I was trying to figure out. Yeah, okay, scroll restart, so that's it. So let's go ahead and press F2 and look at the info. Uh, this shows you the weapons to the game, pretty straightforward. Uh, you have a machine gun, a bomb, mine, and a gun. Four weapons, that's it. Now this is contact information. Uh, I'm gonna guess that this contact information is out of date, considering the game is now 18 years old, probably no longer valid. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can tear through the game in one video. The game is really not very long at all, so let's go. The Forest Massacre is level one. So I'll, sh I'll start off by showing you the premise of the game. The premise is very simple. It's basically Lemmings in reverse. Uh, in Lemmings, you have to save these little, uh, you know, the little characters and get them to the exit. In Lamers, they uh, will build bridges and things like that for themselves. They need to get to the computer. And if too many of them get to the computer, then they will destroy it because they're Lamers, right? So I guess they, I don't know, they upload virus-infected files or they delete things that they weren't supposed to delete or whatever, I don't know. Each level has a maximum number of Lamers that you can allow to reach there, and if you get too many of them there, then you lose. All right, so let's go. Level one, Forest Massacre. Let's do this. I usually start with the uh, weapons. Like I usually start with the bomb just because it's harder to use, actually. It's harder to place correctly, and then when you run out of bombs, then you can use the easier weapons like the mine. The mine blows up immediately, and so it's easy to easy to, uh, to use because you don't have to kind of account for the time delay. And yeah, this game has level passwords, you probably won't need them, but the code for level 2 is Iraq Baghdad, and you'll see why it's called Hussein's Revenge, because there's a nice picture of Saddam Hussein smiling happily there. I'm assuming that Kill em All is probably a reference to the Metallica song. Alright, let's go ahead and... Sometimes the lamers are so stupid that they get stuck, like those ones are there, and then obviously they're very easy to kill because they're all just in one spot, you can just hit them with one explosive, like so. Alright, let's see. I'm out of mines. Uh, let's take this guy down. There we go. Alright, straightforward. Level 3, Aquafresh. Yes, there is water in this level, but unfortunately they don't drown. You will still need to kill them yourself. So, as usual, start with the bomb and then move on to uh, other things. Yeah, the bomb is not really that hard to use, it's just you do need to account for the time delay, whereas, again, the mine blows up right away, and obviously the machine gun and the pistol are pretty easy, just point-and-shoot weapons. Uh, Lufthansa, they can fly. Yes, indeed. If you allow them to get all the way to the end here, they will literally just walk up into the air and into the computers, so let's prevent that from happening, shall we? Put the bomb 
I'm right about there. Right about there. Right about there. And my aim was a bit off, but oh well. Alright, let's finish. So let me show off. See? I just... They, they can float or fly or whatever. Alright, level 5. Oslo Taxi. Tunnels of Termination. Not too much of this level, just kind of a tunnel that they'll walk through eventually. Uh, let's prevent them from doing so, shall we? Oops, there we go. As you can see, the game is pretty easy. Um, there is actually a sequel, uh, Super VGA. Oh, I like Super VGA. Color me bad. There is a... Um, a Christmas themed. Oh, let me take a look at the level. There's really not much to it. Just the go around in a loop and then come back and enter the computer. Uh, th there was a, a follow up Christmas Lamers game released for uh, you know Christmas time later in in the year, uh, but I have not been able to get it to run in DOSBox. I do remember playing it on a real DOS machine. Ooh, Lego! I like Lego. Yeah, there's not too much to this level either, though. It's pretty pretty simple. Uh, I have not gotten the, the Christmas Lamers game to run in DOSBox at all. It seems to just kind of freeze up when you try to run it. Um, I do remember playing it on an actual DOS PC. See, these guys are stuck and I can kill them all with just one mine. It's pretty easy. Done. Uh, the, the Christmas Lamers game is very difficult. Oh yeah, this, this level is a little bit hard just because of the way it's just getting your things to blow up in the right place can be a little tricky, but not that bad. Um, this game is very easy, and the Christmas Lamers game is much more difficult. Uh, if you can get it to run, give it a try. It's, um... Oh, we're screwed now. Land of Confusion. Oh yeah, the computer's upside down there. It's kind of cool. Otherwise, it's pretty much just a, another basic level. Not really too much to it. Uh, yeah, if you can get the Christmas Lamers game, and if you can get it to run, give it a try. It is much more challenging than this, and you know, it's just nice to have a, a festive, holiday-themed game full of killing like this. It just makes Christmas that much more special. Alright, level 10 is the last level. The uh, password is indeed Wartime, and it is called La Finale Grande. Uh, let me go ahead and show you what happens. It is indeed a, a grand finale. Wow. And if you look at your weapons... Oh, actually, I do have 20 of each of these weapons, but I have 100 machine gun bullets. Um, you're dead meat, man. Yeah, this one, this, this level is obviously a little bit different from the others. I usually find the easiest thing to do is just grab the machine gun and mow them all down. I suppose you could attack them with the explosives as well, but uh, it's probably easier just to do it that way. All right, that's it. That was the last level. We hope you had a lot of fun, and indeed I did. But this game is very short, but it holds a special place in my heart, and I don't really know why. I'll go ahead and quit. I don't really know why I like this game so much. There's really absolutely nothing to it. Like, it's it's so short and so simple and so kind of stupid in a way, you know? It's really... It's, it's like, what's the big deal? But I don't know. I, I just really love this sort of... Um, the indie feel to it because it it has a nice idea. I mean, it it basically is a very nice twist on Lemmings. Uh, the graphics are nice. I mean, they didn't just you know throw the graphics together in five seconds. They're obviously kind of amateurishly done graphics, but they're still you know they're they're cute and and very uh, colorful and and nice looking in their three twenty by two hundred VGA two hundred fifty six color kind of way. You know, the music and sound effects are nothing to write home about, but they're, it all just comes together very nicely, and it feels like a very nicely homemade, homebrew production. And this is really the kind of game that I that I, I really love playing. This, is the, like, this game is like the reason why, or games like this are the reason why I really love PC gaming. Uh, so there we go. That's just me waxing uh, nostalgic or whatever about a very silly, very old game of yesteryear. I hope you've enjoyed watching Lamers, and thank you for watching, and again, thank you very much to the DOSBox team for finally getting the sound to work in DOSBox 0.74. I highly recommend you get DOSBox 0.74 if you haven't already. Thanks, everyone. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.